Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Lawrence Ross, aka Blind Lawrence. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Hope you like what you see. Observing obscure observances, looking at the calendar for July 7th. Here we have Chocolate Day. Chocolate Day celebrates chocolate, the sweet treat that is made from the cocoa leaf. The holiday takes place on what some accounts say is the anniversary of when chocolate was introduced into Europe in 1550. There are various chocolate days throughout the year, and this one is also commonly known as World Chocolate Day and sometimes as International Chocolate Day. Chocolate comes from a bean called Theobroma cacao. The word chocolate itself comes from the Spanish, and it stems from the Aztec word zocalic, which means bitter water. The Aztecs pounded the cacao beans and drank them without adding any sugar, and they thought the beans came from the gods. Indeed, Theobroma means food of the gods. Cocoa beans are about 50% cocoa butter and 50% chocolate liquor. Hernando Cortez brought cocoa beans back to Spain, and the chocolate drink that included sugar became popular right away. This seems to contradict the accounts that say chocolate wasn't introduced in Europe until 1550. The word chocolate first appeared in print in England in 1604. There's no information on this one. Father-daughter take a walk day. Uh, check out the Jimmy Buffett song, Delaney Talks to Statues, from his album Fruitcakes, track number 12. It's a beautiful song about the father and daughter relationship. <clears throat> Global Forgiveness Day, observed annually on July 7th. No information. National Dive Bar Day. National Dive Bar Day, founded by Seacrum 7 Crown, honors dive bars. The date of July 7th was chosen for the observance because it also honors the quintessential dive bar drink, the 7 and 7, which is made in Seacrum 7 Crown and 7 Up. As part of the inaugural celebration in 2018, Seacrum 7 Crown made a $25,000 donation to the National Trust for Historical Preservation in an effort to recognize, celebrate, and help save historic dive bars across the United States. Seacrum 7 Crown also hosted events at seven dive bars in the country on the day. Definitions vary as to what a dive bar is. Dive bars are generally considered to be dingy, working-class bars, although people from all social stratifications are welcome to frequent them. The term shouldn't be overused. Not every single small bar is a dive bar, and many bars that aren't dives are wrongly labeled as such. One definition from Dur Urban Dictionary calls a dive bar a well-worn, unglamorous bar, often serving a cheap selection of drinks to a regular clientele. They aren't particularly clean, they aren't hip, and they aren't highbrow. They are called dives because they exist underneath society. I love this bar. National Macaroni Day. No information. National Strawberry Sunday Day. No information. Tell the Truth Day. We all lie, many of us doing so many times a day. There are different types of liars. Some tell little li white lies. Some are sociopaths who use charm and charisma to get something without regard for the feelings of others. And some are compulsive or chronic liars who lie about anything and for which lying is second nature. People lie to their boss, family members, and friends. Today is for focusing on telling the truth, even if it's difficult. All world religions emphasize its importance and society as a whole values it as well. This pen that I hold in my hand is royal blue! That was a lot of fun and that's the truth folks and that's the end of the video i'm lawrence ross thanks for watching hope you like what you saw hey what's happening everybody this is lawrence ross aka blind lawrence thanks so much for watching this video if you'd like you can check me out on my other social media platforms facebook twitter and yes even instagram that does not make sense all ending in forward slash blind lawrence cute